The Hidden Chamber by Neil Gaiman Do not fear the ghosts in this house. They are the least of your worries. Personally, I find the noises they make reassuring. The creaks and footsteps in the night. Their little tricks of hiding things or moving them. I find endearing, not upsetting. It makes the place feel so much more like home, inhabited. Apart from ghosts, nothing lives here for long. No cats, no mice, no flies, no dreams, no bats. Two days ago, I saw a butterfly, a monarch, I believe, which danced from room to room and perched on walls and waited near to me. There are no flowers in this empty place. And, scared the butterfly would starve, I forced a window wide, cupped my two hands around her fluttering self, feeling her wings kiss my palms so gentle, and put her out, and watched her fly away. I've little patience with the seasons here, but your arrival eased this winter's chill. Please, wander round, explore it all you wish. I've broken with tradition on some points, if there is one locked room here, you'll never know. You'll not find in the cellar's fireplace old bones or hair. You'll find no blood. Regard, just tools, a washing machine, a dryer, a water heater, and a chain of keys. Nothing that can alarm you. Nothing dark. I may be grim, perhaps, but only just as grim as any man who suffered such affairs. Misfortune, carelessness, or pain, what matters is the loss. You'll see the heartbreak linger in my eyes and dream of making me forget what came before you walked into the hallway of this house, bringing a little summer into your glance and with your smile. While you are here, of course, you will hear the ghosts, always a room away, and you may wake beside me in the night, knowing that there's a space without a door, knowing that there's a place that's locked but isn't there, hearing them scuffle, echo, thump and pound. If you are wise, you'll run into the night, fluttering away into the cold, wearing perhaps the laciest of shifts, the lane's hard flints will cut your feet all bloody as you run. So, if I wished, I could just follow you, tasting the blood in oceans of your tears. I'll wait instead, here in my private place, and soon I'll put a candle in the window, love, to light your way back home. The world flutters like insects. I think this is how I shall remember you my head between the white swell of your breasts, listening to the chambers of your heart. The End The Other Chamber, copyright 2006 by Neil Gaiman. Thank you for listening until the end. Like our video and leave us a comment to let us know what you think of this short story. Check out the video description to learn more about this book and the author. If you are new to our channel, subscribe now and be sure to check out our other English short stories.